Hey, my name is Josephine Scriver. I'm here to talk to, about a cause that's really, really close to my heart because I grew up in the LGBT community and in my case I grew up with two gay parents. But I know you guys are very curious and there's a lot of questions so I wanted to talk to you about what the kids of the LGBTQ community is kind of tired of hearing. How were you conceived? Did your parents actually have sex? And honestly, that's a really private matter. But any kid from the LGBT community, there's so many ways to have a kid nowadays. Were you ever scared to turn gay? I'm like, gay is not something you turn. And that's like maybe one of the most like confusing questions to me. And I think growing up in a family that was so open about being in the community, really taught me that everything is okay and it really taught me to be open-minded. Then another thing people do a lot, they pity me. They'll be like, you must have been bullied a lot. Was it hard for you growing up like this? And honestly, no. And I get a little bit offended about that because I was really, really lucky growing up in a world that was really open to me. But it does bother me because there is kids out there who will be bullied. There is kids out there that has a hard time. And I do think that the more we talk about it and the more open-minded we will be, the more we can stop this from happening. Another thing people get confused is that they think I missed out on the real role model. Of and honestly, nowadays, is there really such thing as an old-school male and female role? I was so lucky. I grew up with like parents who was a little bit of everything. So who's your mom? Who's your real dad? What role fits where? And every family is so different. Like you don't, you can be adopted, you can be surrogate, you can be anything, and they're still your parents. And nowadays, I'm so happy that we live in a world where you can have multiple moms and you can multiple dads, and nobody's less of a mom to you than anyone else. So if you relate to someone as your mom, she's your mom. A lot of people want to know it was uncomfortable for my friends to come over when I was a kid, or if they wanted to do less playdates with me. And luckily, that was never the case. I was so happy that my place actually became a safe haven for most of them. It was a place where you could explore being whoever you wanted to be because, you know, we were so open-minded about everyone. And I actually had friends who came out to me because of that, because they, they saw that it was possible to be anything but the norm. And it was possible to not having to be one box. That wraps up what you pretty much shouldn't be asking kids with parents from the LGBT community. So May 1st is International Family Quality Day. Same day, Gaby Baby is available on iTunes. Remember, when you're watching, to use the hashtag Gaby Baby on your Twitter or your Instagram so I can follow whoever's watching and I'll tweet you guys back.